Hi guys! In the first part of the video, we explored Lake Issy, Black Canyon and Kolsai Lakes of the Almaty region in Kazakhstan. This is the second part of our trip, where we will visit other beautiful natural places of the region. And now we are heading to the beautiful Lake Kainde. The road leading there is very bad. There is no asphalt road and you really need a car with high clearance to get there. Many people leave their cars in the closest village and take a taxi from there. You can see a lot of cars called Buhanka, which means loaf in the Russian language, because this off-road van reminds a loaf of bread. These cars stayed here from the times of the Soviet Union, I guess. There were even two places where we needed to cross little rivers with the car. And you really don't know where you should cross them, because they can turn out to be quite deep. So we waited for some other cars to come. Local people usually know better where exactly it's better to drive through the water. And then we did it too. Yay! <laughs> it was an interesting experience. We paid for the entrance to Kolsai Lakes early that day and it allows you to enter the Kainde Lake too, so we didn't have to pay now. We just showed them our receipt. When we arrived to the parking lot, there were a lot of Buhanka cars there and there were also old Soviet buses with tourists. To get to the lake from the parking lot, you need to walk around 2 km up the hill. We already walked around 16 km on that day. I didn't want to walk up the hill anymore, so I decided to go there by horse and then to come back down the hill walking. I agreed to go by horse one way to the lake for five and a half dollars, and the guys decided to walk there. It was a very nice ride. So the Kainde Lake is very unique. The lake is surrounded by Chanshan mountain range. This lake was formed quite recently in 1911 as a result of massive landslide that blocked the gorge and created a natural dam. It is also called the Sunken Forest because of the underwater forest of submerged trees. It has become a very popular destination for tourists and hikers. It is also possible to hike to the lake from nearby villages. I walked along the lake, enjoyed its beauty and later on met up with our guys. Because of the hiking the whole day, our shoes got very dirty. The soil got even inside of the shoes, so our socks became all brown. We had a little picnic. We also had a little accident. We had some water and juice in a plastic bag that we put to water for it to get cold and the bag floated away. So we had a hero that decided to rescue it. But turned out that it was in quite a deep place. The water was freezing cold, even though it was summer, so he wasn't able to reach it, and to swim there wasn't really an option. But later a solution was found. Yeah! <laughs> 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 
flash or you spot on. Come put. Come put this there. Jeli su gaci skroz mokre. Pa je. Pa mislim. Ti si kriva. Our hero stepped on some sharp rocks in the water and was a little injured. The guys worried about him and found a plaster. At the same time, somebody was very hungry and too busy with the food. I told the guys that I will start walking back because I know that I'm going to be very slow. I passed the place with horses and the man that I agreed with about riding the horse before asked if I would like to ride back on the horse too. I said that I spent a lot of money today already, so I will just walk. I walked a little bit and then saw that some people on horses were approaching me. It was a family, parents and a little girl. The man I spoke with before was sitting on a horse with that girl. I didn't say anything, but he asked himself if I wanted to take his place. He said I can ride for free. I agreed, of course. So I hitchhiked a horse for the second time on the same day. So on this day we saw a lot of beautiful places and enjoyed the amazing nature of the region. The night was spent in another village not far from the lake. We rented rooms in a village house. Next morning we also woke up very early. We had breakfast at 5 am and went on the road. We didn't have much time as we needed to be back in Almaty in the early afternoon to return the car to the car rental agency. The way to Almaty was quite long and we also wanted to visit Charin Canyon before that. Again we enjoyed very nice landscapes when driving there. We decided to stop again at the Black Canyon, as it was on our way, and to see the daylight. The guys also wanted to take some pictures there. The view was very nice, though there were a lot of little flies in the air. After a short stop there, we continued our trip to Charin Canyon. Charin Canyon is like a hidden treasure in the vast landscape of Kazakhstan. It is referred to as Grand Canyon's little brother and it boasts breathtaking rock formations, dramatic cliffs and a rich geological history that spans millions of years. It's also called the Valley of Castles because of the way its towering rock formations resemble ancient fortresses and citadels. The canyon was formed over millions of years by the Charin River carving its way through the rocky terrain, creating a labyrinth of narrow ravines and wide valleys. As you explore the canyon, you come across various viewpoints with breathtaking vistas of the landscape around you. There are numerous trails that you can hike going down to the Charin River, but unfortunately we didn't have enough time to hike down there. 
We just enjoyed the beautiful landscapes from the top and of course again took a lot of photos. I really felt that one day I want to come back here and to roam down in the canyon among these impressive rocks and cliffs. When we were leaving the territory of the canyon, we saw a couple hitchhiking on the road. Our car was full, but we decided to really squeeze more to give them a ride to the main road. Where are you from? We are from France. Oh, nice. Paris. Hey, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hitchhike uh, together. <laughs> We came to the main road, where we were going to say goodbye to our Serbian friends too. They were not going to come back to Almaty with us, they decided to hitchhike to another direction, to the border with Kyrgyzstan that wasn't far from there, cross the border and go to Karakol, a now popular touristic destination in Kyrgyzstan for hikers. We had to say goodbye, but I know that this is a small world, so you never know where and when you can meet somebody again. And me and Andrew came back to Almaty. It was time for me to explore the city. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Please like it if you liked it. It will be really pleasant for me. And I'll see you in my next videos. Bye-bye.